All right, guys, I have a kiln opening for you. Um, <clears throat> some of my piece, my, um, what do I call them? I was calling them ugly face mugs, but people didn't like that because they said they weren't ugly. <laughs> so quirky face mugs, cute face mugs, whatever you want to call them. Um, they are on the bottom shelf. Uh, several of them will have to go back in for a luster firing, so they won't be complete. They will look a little odd because I just put clear on the glasses because I didn't want to waste color, uh, but I needed them to have a glaze on there for the gold to sit on. So um, they might look a little odd, but you'll still see the work I put into them. Um, I was glazing for like seven hours after I got off work yesterday. <laughs> I think I got to bed. I quit glazing at midnight, but um, got to bed about one. Um, <clears throat> anyway, I have also been glazing tonight because I didn't get everything done last night. I could have fit a few more mugs on the top shelf, but I was tired. So, um, I should have a completely full load, uh, once I get this empty. Um, I mm, can't decide if I want to start another glaze firing or go ahead and do the luster firing. We'll see. I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to get to it. All right. Oh, and this is the first firing since I, uh, glaze firing, since I replaced my elements. Uh, so <laughs> I wasn't sure if it would fire the same. Um, it fired for 13 hours and 39 minutes, which is the amount of time I would hope for it to take because I do a slow firing. Um, but it looks like it got a little bit hotter. Normally I fire it to a cone six with a 15 minute hold and that gets me a cone five and a half based on the pyrometric cones um here are my cones on the top shelf um it's still it's not quite a six still but it's a little bit harder than a five and a half so which is okay i just need to expect that anything up to a six i'm fine with Okay, um, this is a tester, and I didn't write down what it was, so it's pretty. <laughs> I think this is, okay, this is green tea, and then, shoot, rusted iron, that's what it was, rusted iron, green tea, three coats, Rusted iron. I did one coat on the outside and two on the inside. So I will forever struggle with lighting here. I have, anyway. Um, can you see that? Okay, so on the inside, it got more drippy because I had the two coats. And it looks pretty cool. On the outside, where it's just one coat, because this is a short, short piece. I didn't want to put a lot. Um, I like the effect. It goes kind of mirror right there because uh, green tea is kind of matte. My brother was looking for a combo for his oil jar, which is still drying, but this is it. Um, anyway, okay. Yeah, he might like that. I will show that to him. And I don't know where I'm going to set things. I am ill prepared. Okay. Next. All right, I did a set of, not a set, I made 10 of these. Again, I'm preparing for Affair of the Heart, so I'm making multiples of things. And, yeah. Oh, I just love these so much. So nice. Um, my winter wood was at the bottom of the jar, uh, so it was really thick with the chip, the crystals. Um... So I had bought some alabaster because I wanted to do um, a couple coats of alabaster and then do the winter wood over top so that it wasn't so much. And then I also added a little bit of alabaster to the bottom of that winter wood jar and it helped to thin it out a little bit. There's still quite a bit in there, but I just, it looks like cow print. I just love it. And this is um, underglaze wiped back with satin patina two light coats. I don't worry about doing too much. You get the effect. So I did two coats of alabaster inside and out and then one coat of winter wood. I just kind of like dabbed it on to get the crystals uh, dispersed evenly. Anyway, there's 10 of those. There's only five in this firing. There will be five more in the next firing. 
I just, I'm going to show you all of these because the crystals, you know, do what they do. So they all look different. Oh, they're pinging a tiny bit, which I guess if I remember right, Winterwood does that. So I'm going to have to check that later when they stop. Copper, uh, ancient copper always did that too. And it was always fine. So it could just be the fat glaze. And I have a drip and I'm avoiding it. <clears throat> okay, this one's a little bit shorter than those, than those, just a tad, just a tad shorter, a little more bellied, but they're just, I love them, I love them all, so pretty, I'm gonna have to make room, ugh, hey, Kiln Wash did its job, Okay, which means I gotta redo it. So, um, this is a a refire. <laughs> it could have been worse. Look at those drips. Those almost touched the shelf, but just the one did. It's on a cookie. This is a cookie. The cookie is anyway, I can probably get it off. This is refire. I did um three coats of green tea on the inside. Okay, let me start over. I <laughs> I did Mako's Black Walnut, three coats all over the outside, okay? And then I did three coats of green tea on the inside and then about to here on the outside. Um, it, I didn't like the effect it got. Uh, I, it was splotchy on the inside. If you go back to my, my last video, you'll see that. Um, so I added more glaze and I just added another coat of green tea, one inside, one out. Um, and it ran quite a bit and also the kiln got a little bit hotter. So that kind of aided in that. It doesn't look anything like the swatch does on the Mako site. Not at all. It's pretty though. It's kind of cool, but not, not what it's supposed to look like. Anyway, I'll see if I can get the uh, cookie off and not damage the bowl too much. Cause this is my ramen bowl. My first ramen bowl. I don't know where I put you. There, I suppose. Shelf work. I guess that's what I'll be doing tonight. My daughters made some things. Kayla made this one. Dog mom. I, I don't want to call myself a dog mom. I don't know who this is for. I think she was just making it. She was just playing, having fun. Cute. Someone's going to love that, though. And my youngest, she's eight. She did a good job with her colors, though. Got it all nice and even on there. She said, you can be loved. Um, I'm not sure where she got that from, but she just wants you to know that you can be loved by Jesus. Um, and I want you to know that, too. Okay, that was all on the top shelf. I could, Like I said, I could have put more, but I got too tired to glaze anymore. So that's where it was dripped off. I just have a tiny bit of grinding to do and then uh, put more kiln wash. There's a couple flecks right there. I don't know if I can get those off, but I don't want to be plucking, so I will try. Ooh, that one felt like it was going to stick, but it didn't. Another one. Those are pinging. These are pinging. Goodness. Don't know what that's about. No. Hmm. It's fine. I'm fine. Everything's fine. <gasps> that one did run and pluck. <sighs> Shelf work. But look. That's plucked. Which I'll grind it smooth. It'll be discounted. Or mine. Pretty. Okay, another refire that ran. Okay, maybe I just shouldn't refire. <laughs> Let me see my cones done here. Okay, this is the bottom shelf. Okay, top shelf, bottom shelf. I mean, they look about the same to me, really. So, almost a cone six. But that one dripped on the shelf, so I'll have to grind a little on this one too. Right, ready for it. I 
This one is uh, Taylor Swift inspired with the heart glasses in the classic red lip. Um, amaryllis inside and handle times two because it has so many crystals. I only do two coats of that. <clears throat> Mako red gloss. Um, this is not bare clay. This is bare clay. There's a line there if you can see that. This is Coco Fundamentals Underglaze. It was kind of like a skin color. <clears throat> I also do want to do a set of these in my red clay. I think that will look gorgeous. But this was my alternative for um, my B mix. Yeah, cutie. That one is not going back in for a luster firing. I wanted the glasses red on that one. So this one is also complete and will not go back in for firing. <laughs> oh, can you say Ron Swanson? <laughs> oh, that is so funny. Oh, I love it. <laughs> it's so fun. Some dad is going to get an amazing Father's Day gift. Okay, it, same underglaze. Ow, it's still warm. I touched my face. Um, I did two different kinds of um, brown on the <clears throat> two guys. <laughs> so the other guy. This one is leather, which it looks really good. And I kind of think I should have done leather on the other one too. I just did two coats of leather. Well, I did black underglaze first, wiped it back, and then two coats of leather. Cocoa underglaze. And then three coats of, no, two coats of seaweed on the handle because I didn't want drips. Three coats of seaweed inside. How do I get, oh, that maybe there. Anywho, cute. I'm happy with him. He is fun. Uh, the other man, <laughs> it's cute. I don't like the mustache as much. Mm. I use manganese wash on his mustache. It's not terrible, but I like the solid colors on the other one better. It's kind of, yeah. It's a blonde mustache. He's got a blonde mustache. And then cobalt celadon on the inside and the handle. He's gonna go back in and get white gold. I oh, know you can't see my eyeballs, I'm sorry. White gold on his glasses. So it'll look silver. Fun. All right. This cutie patootie. She looks Hawaiian to me. <laughs> She's cute. Her little flowers and her, her hair. And then I did amaryllis again. It just kind of looked good with the pink that I did out here. And then with the flowers, it kind of tied in some of those colors. Anyway, it looks cute. She is not going in for another firing either. So I guess half of them are going in for firings. All right. This one will be going back in for uh, gold glasses. This one reminds me of me. I have a mole. I know you've seen it, but I gave her one too. I was feeling left out. Cute. Red gloss. That rim's a little wonky. <laughs> Someone had messaged me the other day and they're like, how do you get your rims not wonky when you add handles? And I'm like, sometimes they are. <laughs> like that one. I don't care about that. Some people might, but I don't. That doesn't bother me at all. I like her. All right, last piece. And then I gotta do damage control on these new shelves. Okay, this one's also going in for gold glasses. She got some thick lips. I guess I didn't wipe the bottom very good on her, but it's just under glaze, so it didn't stick. Um, cute. <laughs> gold glasses. They're gonna look so different when they get their glasses. Then I did Norse blue. I, I had a really hard time choosing what glaze to use for this one. But I got my jars out and I was, cause I knew her lips were gonna be red. So I started like putting jars next to each other to see what colors look good together. And I don't know, Norse blue and red just kind of always look good to me. It's like, reminds me of cherries or Superman. <laughs> I don't know, but I thought they looked good. Cute. Which, which face is your favorite so far? I'll show you when they come out of the uh, 
uh, luster firing. And I think I got distracted and forgot to tell you what this one is. Um, this is a refire. I had done, the first firing was two coats of Norse blue with indigo rain over it. And the swatch on the Mako website looks like this. Um, but when it came out, it just did not look right. It was like it had, didn't get hot enough and my elements were kind of going out. So, um, I put one more coat of Norse blue on the outside and the inside and I, maybe I shouldn't have done that and I should have just refired it as is, but you can see it got all over that cookie. So is it worth trying to get this one off? I don't know if I'm bored, I suppose I'll try. Uh, but it's a tum it's a baby tumbler. I'm not too terribly worried worried about it. My ramen bowl's pinging too. <laughs> okay. Do you guys have a lot of experience with things pinging? That it doesn't happen very often. Again, just when this this winter wood combo. Maybe it's because it's over the alabaster because winter wood by itself doesn't do that. Um, I don't think. <laughs> Maybe I hadn't paid attention, but ancient copper always does that. And again, it was always fine. Who knows? But my favorite face mugs, it's gotta be this one. I love it. <laughs> it also reminds me of my husband. You guys don't ever get to see my husband. I like this one too. Um, it kind of looks like him. He's got the mustache. Yeah, and the dark hair. That's cute. Okay. Um, my next firing is going to have more of the Cactus Winterwood jazz and a very special item that I have been working on for probably months now. Um, if you like Taylor Swift, you're going to love it. And then two very large, not very large, large for me, serving bowls. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to get both of them in because my shelves are like not very big. 17 inches across, I think. And so I might get one bowl and maybe one mug outside of that bowl in there. Anywho, I'm rambling again and I have more stuff to do tonight. So I'm gonna let you guys go, but thanks for joining me. Thank you for all of my subscribers. I think I'm up to 1,340 something now and that just blows my mind. Um, you guys are always so helpful. Um, if I have issues, you guys are like right on it, giving me advice, tips, and I, I definitely take them. Someone gave me the tip to add alabaster to my winter wood, which I guess I knew you could do, but I hadn't done it. And so that was an amazing tip. It helped me get through another jar to finish that one off. Um, I'm rambling yet again. I'll see y'all in the next kiln opening. <laughs> Bye.